Hello guys, it's Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. I hope you're enjoying a little time off maybe between Christmas and New Year's to spend some time with your family or friends or just to hang out on your own and lay in front of the TV on a couch. That sounds like a good idea too. In case you weren't aware, I've taken this week and I picked out five videos that were probably some of my top videos of the year that I enjoyed watching and getting to know. And I thought I would take these five days, since not a lot of people are online anyways this time of year, and um, just kind of look back on my five favorite songs and do a revisit with them. And it's been a lot of fun. I've actually really enjoyed it. I've got some good feedback. And um, I'm looking forward to maybe doing this next year. If I'm still doing this a year from now, I think I may do the same thing. Maybe take my top 2023 songs and kind of revisit them. Uh, either way, uh, I'm really happy I did it this year. So um yay yay to me for coming up with that <laughs> um today uh nightwish ghost love score i don't even know where to begin to talk where uh the topic of nightwish comes up besides having such an interesting history with the change of lead vocalists one thing seems to be a constant throughout and that's great music whether you like one more th th more than the other that doesn't matter bottom line everything at least that i've heard everything's been great and it's okay to like one more than the other but that doesn't take away from the other songs that have been put out from what i understand ghost love score was not originally floor's song it was taria is that how you say it tara uh, i'm not really sure that matters because each singer will bring their own take on the songs and this just happens to be floors. Um, although I've, I had heard of the phrase symphonic metal in the past, I never really experienced much of it. Maybe the only band I can think of that comes to mind at all is maybe Evanescence with Amy Lee. And I thought Amy had a, a great voice and I enjoyed the music that they put out. Um, the first time I heard this particular song by Nightwish, I'm not sure what, honestly, what impacted me more, Floor's vocals or the music behind the vocals. Both were great. Do I have to say anything else? It's such a great feeling when you realize you've just opened the box of an extremely new genre, at least it was to me, and to hear it and really appreciate it, it's like, wow, I got something totally new I can start uh, researching and getting to enjoy. This song, I got to be honest, Ghost Love Score has been on a constant loop since I reacted to it. It's just that good. The thing that I most like most about uh, this genre is that the fans appreciate not only the music, but the beautiful vocals. It's almost like, I mean, it is rock music meets like opera. And whoever thought that these head headbangers would uh, really care about how beautiful a vocal can be, <laughs> but they actually do. And to me, that's just amazing that the a lot of these younger people, especially, realize the value of an amazing vocalist in a song. So that's amazing. So, all right, I'm going to get my headphones on and we're going to do this and I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, so I broke out the stylish TV, and we are ready to do this. Um, what can I say other than, even if you've heard this a hundred times before, we are still in for a treat here. It's just that good. So here we go. Nightwish singing um, Ghost Love Score. Here we go. The drums are amazing. I love this. I've 
never seen seen a time traveler guy again. <laughs> Wonder where he's been hiding. Love you, Floor. Okay, that's a good spot to break. At least this song allows me really good spots to break because <laughs> there's several, I don't want to call them intermissions, but there's a couple little breaks in the song that just scream for me to stop what you're doing and start talking for just a little bit. Um, okay, so <laughs> the question we're all asking, is there a number of times we can listen to the song and get tired of it? I know, I know the answer. No, never. <laughs> um, you know what? Hats off. All kidding aside, half hats off to is it Thomas? I apologize. I'm horrible at names. Um, hats off to Thomas for this amazing composition that he uh, has created here. I've watched this many, many times, and I still feel like. There's a need to, an inner need to watch it more. In fact, it's a 10 minute song that we're going to be listening to here. And I still feel ripped off. I still feel like it's too short, that it should have been longer. That's how good it is. It, it draws you in right from the very beginning and it doesn't let go until it turns to black. So uh, amazing. The start is really fun. I really like it. Those amazing drums and they give it a little time. It isn't like a, five second drum intro and then they kick in they actually gave him a little bit of time to show off a little bit there and it just sounded wonderful kind of on the simple side i don't want to say it was overly tough but nonetheless it sounded amazing and i really liked it and then the guitars kick in and then at that point the song just just out of this world and if that um doesn't if that doesn't take the song to the next level then floor starts singing oh come on so no offense <laughs> but floor's name is all wrong because uh floor sings at such a high level that floor is the opposite of what she should be called she needs to be called and ceiling isn't good enough uh stratosphere might be a better name for her maybe you guys can come up with something because Floor, I'm sorry, Floor is just not the right name for her. <laughs> so, all right, let's keep going, and uh, we'll break in a little bit. There's so many different moods to this song, isn't there? I love it. 
this with the crowd. You can't leave. <laughs> Say it isn't so. The people know it ain't over. It ain't over till it's over. Except that one girl who is crying. She thinks it's over. <laughs> I love how they build up the anticipation. As long as the music's still playing, there's still a chance. There we go. Okay, let's pause it because um, I can. I, I, this will probably be my last pause because from here, the song just takes off, and it would be a crime to pause it after this spot. And I believe in some states, the United States, it would be literally illegal for me to pause it. So I don't want to break any laws, so we're just going to let it play. I am not going to, because I don't even want to compete with all these vocal analysts. I don't want to talk about all the things that Floor does with her voice. I'll leave that to those people who know that kind of thing. What I will say and I say it with from my heart, <laughs> is that you can tell how good she is just by how quickly she got complete buy-in from the crowd. They knew right away that they were looking uh, at someone special. From what, from what I understand, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought a number of you had mentioned that this was like one of her very early concerts, that especially her singing this song. So they some of the crowd weren't quite aware of who she was or how she would sound. So... If that is correct, that fully explains this. And um, and I, if you could let me know for sure, that'd be great. All of them singing along, though, whether it's new or not, is really such a testament on how much they love her. So, all right. So I'm not going to stretch this out. I'm going to go ahead and play this to the end. It's Like I said, it's just too good to stop. This will be like a five-minute piece here, but... I've heard this enough to know there's just not a good place to break. So let's just enjoy this. Let's sit back, enjoy it, and uh, we'll talk when it's over. Here we go. I love the orchestra um, arrangement on this. It's just beautiful. And I believe that's all Thomas, right? I think so. Love this.
That's great. Look at the crowd. They're going nuts. Little windmill. Wow. Woo. I love how they're chanting flow at the end or floor. I don't know if they're saying flow or floor. Um, that ending, <laughs> goosebumps, uh, literally goosebumps, chills, uh, almost tears, shock. Anything else? Give me some words, guys. Um, I compare her vocals to the insane level that she's singing to that of Dimash. I don't know if you're familiar with Dimash. I don't even want to say that their singing styles are all that much different. What's different about them is the background music where Floor has Floor. I was going to say Flow, but tried to stretch it out to Floor. That went a little odd. But um, where Floor has more, obviously, the symphonic metal sound to her, Dimash has like a, just more of an... I don't know, it depends upon the song, but it's different. Both of them, though, just blow me away with their singing and their skills. That last note she hit, the development of communication between humans has yet to create a word to describe that. <laughs> that's that's my way out because I can't come up with anything. I'll say a word hasn't been created yet that could describe that. <laughs> I'm sure that... Um, this may go down in history as one of the greatest symphonic um, metal masterpieces that there is. As old as this song is, because I think it's over 10 years old now, isn't it? It's still extremely relevant. They could put this out today and no one would blink an eye. 
she's got uh, one of those voices and she's one of those talents that I believe sound better live than in a studio. I've listened to a couple of her studio cuts and listened to more of her live cuts because I really enjoyed live music. And I just really feel that the live cuts sound better. I think the true floor comes out because it's, it's more raw. It's just her singing. So amazing, amazing, amazing. So, all right, let me get my headphones off and I will be back for my final thoughts. Hold on. We are back. All right. So you don't need me to say that this is a masterpiece. <laughs> Bottom line. This is exactly why I had to revisit this song. It's just that incredibly good. And this, and I may get in trouble for this, but this song centers to me around three things. Vocals, drummers, a drummer, and the keyboard. You could probably say that about 90% of the <laughs> Nightwish songs, but for me personally, those three things really stuck out Um on this song. It's like it's the trilogy of symphonic metal heaven. Um, metal bands should also not look this happy when they're playing. Where's the anger? Every single band member seems to be over the top happy. There's great crowd interactions. There's great interactions between the members. I say the band is having fun, but it's contagious. Look at the crowd. They are as well. And when did this become a sing-along with the crowd? What's going on here? Where's the metal? Where's the anger? Where's the fist-banging and all that stuff? <laughs> Find me one video on YouTube where people are enjoying themselves and are more into it than here, and I'll be shocked that you find one. I do believe, all kidding aside, I believe this band looks really happy because they know the amount of work and effort they put into this to make it what it is, which is fantastic and that's evident by the fact that no matter how many times i watch this video it just never gets old period if you love symphonic metal amazing stage presence head banging crowd interactions then this is really your dream performance i know a couple of the members have left the band and floor is fighting a battle of her own but uh, I have confidence that Nightwish will continue to soar just like it did here. And all prayers go out to Floor as she's battling some health issues. And I really just hope and pray that she bounces back and we're able to see her up on stage again. I, I truly do. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And if you really liked it, if you would uh, click that notification bell there or it's going to be down somewhere one of these two spots click that and that way you'll be notified anytime i release some new content all right this will probably be my probably be my last video for the new year so everyone happy new year happy 2023 the best of all to all of you and i'll see you after the turn of the clock peace out guys take care and thanks for everything this year this has been an amazing year peace out